very good morning to all of you on this occasion of the 10th national conference of the brain, brain feed and et tech our distinguished, distinguished guests who are among us me on the dais swami bodama bodamaya nandana ji and uh, my dear uh, kv brahmam garu who is the ceo of uh, brainfield then uh, vivek vikram ceo of uh, et tech ashok pande eminent educationist from uh, new delhi sri s madhusudan secretary trasma and sri shekhar rao president trasma and all those who have received the awards you know, and uh, the british high commissioner win who was there with us for this occasion and uh, all the participants in this today's uh, 10th national conference uh, of brain feed and et tech very happy that our uh, brahmam garu is doing good job as far as this magazine is concerned but you know it's also be to be noted is that the young director spandana who has uh, joined him as a uh, daughter in law not only as joined da joined as daughter in law but as uh, joined as a uh, yes, daughter okay so we have gifted uh, her from kamam for brain feed and uh, she is also doing a great job uh, but as a great educationist brahmam garu has got that recognition uh, uh, throughout uh, this uh, part of uh, both uh, andhra pradesh and telangana for his great job which been uh, done for the long time well as you all know that uh, i think you all must have now now known that i am also an ed educationist and uh, who was who was involved in uh, perpetuating education for uh, almost uh, three decades we were in uh, school education college education and now in uh, uh, medical education for almost uh, 25 years and our medical college is almost uh, 25 year old uh, and we have uh, another new medical college which have started in uh, hyderabad so basically when when we see the perspective of of <coughs> education and uh, uh, the modes of learning and teaching there is a drastic change in the last one decade one one and a half decades Now specifically i feel that uh, uh, during pandemic the pandemic has taught us a lot of techniques even that you know uh, that uh, the teaching has become online uh, Uh, obviously because of inevitable conditions but then uh, the uh, the technology which has come in into the school education right from you know kindergarten to the uh, primary and uh, uh, higher ed, uh, school education uh, does require the uh, school management and the teachers uh, a platform Uh, to get themselves known regarding the latest technologies latest uh, educational material available and also uh, for the parents and teachers also to be aware about i think uh, brainfeed magazine is doing an this excellent job for a long time and uh, i wish brahman garu will uh, along with my sister spandana keep doing this good job for the uh, future coming years also education is one sector which is always uh, required uh, never ending growing demand the uh, the quality of education is sought over by all the parents every parent uh, demands for a quality to education now it is a question like you know what is being given to the haves and what is being given to the have nots so the have nots can't afford the costly education or the costly education material so i believe i obviously believe that uh, the whatever the um, technology and the education material available should also reach to the have nots in some or the other way we all know that the education act which has been passed by the parliament uh, uh, imparts uh, a compulsory 25% uh, uh, what you call uh, seat sharing for the have nots in all the private educational institutions but which is not possible as we all know that we are not implementing it but i see when i go to the government schools i see where, where the have not children are studying they are all deprived of uh, the kind of uh, 
uh, the facilities which are being enjoyed by the haves, haves children. So I think this particular uh, moment, we all should see that there is an equality in uh, 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 imparting education. Though the government, uh, governments, uh, or it's not my government I'm talking about, it's the governments which, which uh, spend huge amounts, you know, hundreds and thousands of crores on education. However, the private sector is doing good. The reason is that uh, the quality of the education. So this particular gap should be uh, reduced between uh, um, the haves and have-nots in getting the quality education. And I believe whoever have come here, the educationalists and then uh, the, uh, the, uh, the suppliers and the stalls which have come over here must also um, uh, emphasize on how, how do we do best for the uh, poorer sec section of the people to, uh, to be given the best opportunity for education. I see so many, um, uh, so, uh, so, so many people who are uh, uh, indulged in different kind of education like you know primary, secondary education and then the uh, plus two education and then the uh, 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 professional education, uh, educationist and uh, the, uh, the, the kind of awards what have been received and for example my, my best friend who came from Kamam Ravi Marut also is doing an excellent job in uh, come on, uh, with, a, with a school by name Harvest uh, Public School. Like definitely there is, there is a good effort uh, uh, in, in the private sector. Uh, I, I do acknowledge that uh, the, uh, this particular uh, conference and this workshop uh, would definitely deliberate some kind of discussions which I have thrown the light on uh, the issues. Uh, uh, thank you once again everybody uh, for inviting me and uh, uh, for participating in this uh, conference. Uh, once again, thanks a lot and uh, Happy New Year to all of you.